everyone and welcome back don't know why I'm holding my hands like this to Tears of the Kingdom or Totka if you're me and abbreviate everything even when it doesn't make sense anyway I'll get chatting in a minute but first it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the arse for me but be fine for you I'm gonna start off with some amiibo collecting so be right back I know I just said I'd be right back unrelated I I don't, this is probably like common knowledge. I'm using, I need to sort my saddle out because I have like an old sticker from that vibe, from the Breath of the Wild vibe and pastel pink paw prints. I also have blue ones to match. But I just amiiboed through it, so that's cool that it doesn't block it. That's all I wanted to say. Still makes me sad that the wolf link amiibo gets you meat. Like every time I'm like. And here's Wolf Link. I know they probably just meant art. Oh, he's a wolf. Wolves like carnivores, they eat meat. But I can't be the only one who thought, oh great, there's Wolf Link's remains. Thank you, Nintendo. Okay. Now that that's done, we only got the paraglider fabric. Where are we heading to? I know where we're heading to, but I haven't played this game for a while. So I've forgotten how to play. Actually, I think if we speak to Pora, she tells us where I know we're going next. Oh, actually, have I showed this off? Love this part of the game. I love progression. I love when a game is like, you did a thing and that changed something permanently. See, because they do it in Majora's Mask, where they're like, spoilers for Majora's Mask, I guess. So like. The poison swamp is no longer poisonous, which is just like a slight change. The snow is no longer in the Goron place. But obviously the whole premise of that game is that everyone gets reset after three days. So it's like it's cool for like half a day or a day in the game and then it's like, oh, back, back to black, let's go. Reverse time. But obviously there is no such thing in this one. So... Because we helped the Rito, the Rito, because we helped the Rito, like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know where that come from. Because we helped the Rito, like, we have the banner now, they've joined the Lookout Landing. And look, that you can just see them fly, hi! This is the order that I did it in my personal playthrough. So, we have the Rito who have joined us at the Lookout Landing place which I think is super cool and obviously there's no snow now there's no storm in the Rito permanently okay Pura tell us where we're going yes hello <laughs> Linky welcome back I've been hearing a lot about your adventures hmm. a serious cold front foods food shortages a floating ship and there was a sighting of someone who looked like the princess I had no idea things were that dire for the Rito if you hadn't if you hadn't shown up to help out who knows what their fate would have been hmm. Probably not good. <laughs> it's become clear as day that there's a connection between Prince Zelda and the upheaval. Things much more serious, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, remaining regions. Which one do you want to know? Did, I didn't forget. I just want... Did she just sass us? You're making fun of Link's amnesia. He has a bad memory. Relatable. Oh, she said, what did she say? <laughs> Did you forget or something? Well, I guess that's in character for you, isn't it? Tone it down. I'm just a poor guy. There are three locations. I just want... Yeah, from here, Elden to the northeast. See, because she kind of like, if you're if you're like, I can't decide which one to go to next, you don't have to go to the Elden. The Elden, next. And go to whichever one. But I just wanted her to tell me, not in a bit... Ooh, do that again, Link. That was cool. I forgot how this game We're gonna have some fun. Right, I'm, I have a horse. Do I have a horse? Do I? I don't know. Let's do. Do I have any Korox? Oh god, I'm not used to having, like, not a lot of stamina. You must dance. I will never stop you from dancing. It's got a good- it does have a good vibe. It does have a good vibe. I would- I'd love to chill and look at London. Almost any place in Zelda. 
Where I've got, I have three. Oh god. It's not a lot. Okay, yes. Wait, have I done this in this game before? Sugar. Okay, the, the weapon one's the only useful one. I skipped it, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I just, in my mind, I was like, it was just second nature. I just said I'd never stop him from dancing. I will never stop you from dancing. I'm so sorry, Hester, and I don't have any fit. Sorry, my friend. I feel so bad. Yeah, this is a quest stable. Do I have enough stuff for the stable? It'll still be a while. And the roof is... Oh, wait, I think I can, I can do this right now. Oh, no! The roof! If only there was a... Move, please. There are perfectly placed... Done. Bob the Builder certified. I used to love that show. Any kids show I would... As a kid. Surprise, they actually work for kids. The roof done, the finishing touches, sun and done. Give us the weird sound effects. Uh -huh. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Construction. Don't know why they added the O's. I don't know why I'm sa sassily either. Okie dokes, feeling pumped, gonna get this done in one fell swoop. That is also what I sound like when I build. I don't just silently weep. I'm not a DIY. I'm a DIY craft person. Like, I'll craft something. If I see something and I'm like, I can make that. But if it's like a big DIY project, like boring stuff, then I'm like, no. If it's making it look pretty, then yes. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, he's moved up in the world. Well done, man. And it's a stable. This is reminding me. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just skipping. The dialogue's cool, but like, it's just repetitive. I just can't, I don't have, today I don't have the patience. Okay, a mini stable. Now right, let's get to business. Oh, thank you. Can I have the reward? No, oh, I've made it a proper stable. Can I, do I have a horse? Oh my God, I forget you have all your horses from the old game. White light's cool but weak. Have the Hylia chestnut. I'm gonna have a pona. I just gotta go. I gotta go with what is canon to the game. What is me to the game? Oh, thanks. Everyone loves it. Oh, <laughs> Everyone loves a pona. Look at that. Look, I love a horse. I'm not a horse girl, but like. I'm an animal person. There's something that you know about me. I like animals. I'm going the wrong way. Shit. <laughs> um, so if there's any animal, I'm like, I want one. I would have a farm if I could. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, just depart a little bit quicker. I know we're in a place, but chill. Chill. Yo, I was saying something before. Oh. Looking at the stable, that's written in Hylian. Um, I remember I... Good work, me too. This is bad. I don't actually have ADHD, but I am neurodivergent, so you you got to cut me a little bit of slack. I feel like I've talked about it a little bit previously, but... Am I close enough to the mic? People are going to be like, mm, she has ADHD. No. Um, I do. Officially. Yay, have autism. Probably talked about it. Definitely can't remember, because I can't remember anything. It's fun, kind of. Did I have to do that for, no, I don't. I did all of them in my previous game and it was not worth it. Did all of the Addison signs. And I did all the Koroks. In this playthrough, we will not be doing all the Koroks. So we're not going for 100% map completion, but we're going for like 100% everything else completion. So, all shrines, which is a good segue. Um, all quests, all main quests, and all side quests and adventures and stuff. And then that'll do, because that, that is on its own quite a task. Anyway, I'm already doing the tangent thing, so autism, chip. 
I wanted to say check and tick, so I just said chick. Tick. That's the one. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm gonna have to concentrate. Oh, I can throw stuff. I want to pick up the things to throw. So yeah, looking at the the letters on the stable, I'm just gonna ignore what they say. I know how to throw. Um, I did the. I, I mentioned a while ago that I'm getting married. Everyone knows this. Still happening. It's coming up soon. Well, say soon. It's like we're less than a year away to me. It it it's soon. Um, so I finally started doing some like wedding crafts. And I said I would like make bro, I'm talking, make some sort of contact content with them. Um, but I'm doing it just chill, I'll just click. Yeah. Um I, I picked the wrong shrine to start talking about the story. Anyway, watch the enemies. Okay, it's gonna move a little bit. This one's not my fault. This is the game's fault for interrupting me. I will try and keep my train of thought though. Bang, oh shit. Ready. Oh, I threw my weapon shit. Wait, <laughs> no, I'm actually fucking it up. Yeah. Boom, nope. There we go. That was not as complicated as I made it out to be. And I lost my weapon. Yes, I will proceed to the enemy's chamber. I love that sound though. It's so eerie. I love it. Love it. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Um, it's not even that important, but I want it. And I want my weapon back. Oh wait, I think it fell to the other side anyway. No, it didn't. Thank you. Yeah, I have a chest. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I was picking up a chest. I have a chest. I do have a chest. That's correct. Anatomically. Anatomically correct. So I said I was going to be doing like a wedding craft series, like I mentioned it on TikTok and I kind of, I've mentioned it on here that I, because it's a Zelda themed wedding, if it's just a regular themed wedding or something that like isn't my main interest and the, hence the main interest of the channel then I'd be like oh fuck it. But it is Zelda theme and I am trying to stick as much Zelda in my light. God this is not- oh that's right, I looked right at it. My light automatically went off. This is a great start pack. Go me. So cool and calm and collected. Anyway, for once it's kind of not my fault, even though I do keep interrupting myself. But yeah, so I said I was gonna do like some, I, I don't know what content, but I just, I don't know about you. <laughs> Personally, if anyone, oh, shit, it's a battle talus. This is the worst game to try and talk. Just let me pass. Just let me pass. Not in the mood. Really not. Really don't want to. The enemies are like feel so much harder in this game. Like especially the taluses. I tried fighting like a frost talus once, and it just did not go well. Didn't like it. Didn't enjoy it. Did not have a good time. So yeah. If I was interrupted, probably gonna be interrupted again. Just get used to it. <laughs> Me, not you guys, but. So I said I was gonna do that, and then I did plan on it, but the way my crafting journey went just wasn't. I don't have like a tripod to film, so I'd have to be like constantly picking up my phone and filming, and it just ruins the flow of it for me. It ruins the enjoyment of trying to be like, get the cool camera angles and do the craft thing. I just like to sit with my music, which is Zelda music. I'm really exposing myself here. Um, I mean, no surprise there. <laughs> Ow. I'm helping my mama. Um, but yeah, so I've done a couple of craft things. So it's all going to like the beginning of the episode and the stable thing reminded me of one of them that I've done. 
which is to oh, put the wedding favours in. I bought like a three pound wooden chest from the works, Rep the works, and I've painted it brown. I might put a photo here now. I, f I will, I think, do like some sort of like, this was my wedding, but particularly with the um, Zelda -y inspired stuff. Um, but I mean, I might just put a photo there. And I basically just done the chest and wrote in Hylian in the Breath of the Wild Hylian font because there's there's multiple languages of Hylian and Sheikah, I believe, in the Zelda. <laughs> so it was tough trying to pick one. And then I put Zoe on one side, Jack on the other, and then just favours at the front, and then drew a triforce and painted it on. Thought it'd be that easy, it was actually surprisingly difficult. Sorry. Did I make them fall over? <laughs> I'm so t Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot. And I forgot to put my phone on silent. Go me. It's going great. It's going great. It's great to be back, guys. Yeah, that was cute. It was a lot harder to write on wood than I thought it would be, which is like something that you wouldn't think. To draw on wood, at paint. That's the one. Anyway, mm. there's the chest. I've done other stuff as well. I've done um, oh. get the horse god fabric. Cool. Do I have anything else? Oh. No. Hitano Village. Two more oh. points. Well, I'm your bird. Yes. Okay. Um, hold on, sorry. I'm getting distracted again. You have a quest for me, don't you? Yay, we've got a point. I want the picture to quest. No. Oh, wait, actually. There we go. I'll link the empty, empty frame house, yes. And I have to walk all the way back. I'm looking mm. so styling though, I want to make this outfit. I want this outfit in real life. Picture, hanging frames, yeah. yes. I'm, this is such a s simple quest idea, but I love it because then you can see your picture in the game. Again, it's like the progression and it's satisfying. It's just so fun. Famous hot springs and it's so pretty. I don't know, picture of hot water. Goron. Let's get to take a photo of Goron just like, hey Link, get my good side. Never. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so now I've got that. So yeah, I've also been- well, what other Zelda things have I tried to incorporate in my wedding? That won't be like a spoiler to Jack. The only thing that Jack's not supposed to know about is obviously the dress. So I can mention the dress until it's all done. So yeah, I might do like a, like a compilation video or just like a sit down video and put loads of photos and just talk about the Zelda stuff. Um, what? The theme is green and gold, the colour theme, which is fun, because Link, even though Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are like, haha, it's like, it's blue now, but anyway, the gold is still the Triforce, so that's cool. What else? I feel like this is a spoiler to everyone who's coming to the wedding. I've done something with small little jaws, that's all I'll say. I don't think anything else that I've done that's like super Zelda -y. Bought Triforce earrings and a necklace, which is super cool. I'm very excited to wear that. Bang. And the dirt is gone. I believe we need a recall. I should have worn this to my wedding. This would be great. Surprise, Jack, it's not this. Although it should be. Okay, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that's like important? Not right this second. Again, it'll be uh... Where, oh wait, actually. And then up. And then down, then back. Then stand, then recall. <laughs> Very well, but oh, please don't fall. Yeah, that was just just seeing the stable text reminded me of that. What now? Can I? Do I? 
Musai. Oh, chest then. I don't need it, but I want it. It's gonna be something useless, but if I see it, I'm like, I have to get it now. Mandatory. Useless. Yeah. But I will drop that and then drop it again because it will irritate me if it says that I didn't get the chest because I did. Okay. You can go here and then up here for quite some time and then back up. And then hopefully I can ultra hand you. It's been, I've it's as I've recorded this, it's recently, there was one there. Okay, not, not that big of a deal. Mildly irritating. But yeah, as of recently, there has been a, it has been the one year anniversary of Tears of the Kingdom, which is just kind of crazy to me. So I will have forgotten some of the thingies. Right, quickly get on it. Did I do it right? No, I did. Okay, I did something wrong here. I know what to do in my head, but... Right, so... Oh, lift up. No. <laughs> Link. Oh, for God's sake. Use your brain for a second. Like, I know what I have to do. So, we want it to be pressed down. And then like that. Then do the recall. Yeah, something like that. We did it. Yay! Okay. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Isn't it weird that Tears of the Kingdom was only a year ago? It's going to be like more than, quite a bit more than a year ago, probably when this comes out. But that I'm I'm nostalgic for it already. I don't even know if nostalgia is the right word, but like I don't I don't know. I just get the feelings in my chest, and I'm like, oh, time has passed. Like good memories. I loved playing this game. I do have my criticisms of it, um, as I'm sure most people do, but they didn't mess it up because it's hard to like, I would find it hard to improve upon what it was almost perfection without losing some of what made it so perfect, which is kind of what happened, but there are quite a few things that they did improve upon. And I would say quite a bit. Like, even just like little quality of life stuff. Like being able to, um, I don't know, you can't throw items in the old one, but you can throw weapons, I believe. Um, but like, when you open a chest and your inventory's full, instead of having to, oh no, blood moon. I always get really anxious whenever there's a blood moon and like, I can't focus on anything else except for the- because it's beautiful and it's amazing. But it's creepy as fuck to me. Oh, Too long. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm just going to be staring at this whole day. Um, yeah, so instead you can choose to drop a different weapon instead of having to exit the inventory and stuff. Which was a big pain. It was always like, oh! You found a, a shield, but your inventory is full, and you're like, shit. So that they definitely improved upon lots of little things like that. Okay. I am gonna make a whole video on that. That's gonna be fun. Mm, it makes me so uncomfortable. I, I can't be the only one. I love it though. I like being creeped. That's like when you watch a horror film, like you're watching it to be disturbed. This disturbs me, but also I'm like excites me. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. It's just fucking cool. Look at it! It's all red! And I got- he's just like, everything's fine. It's like, mate, the friggin' sky's red. 
when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon I have to admit, I prefer the first, the Breath of the Wild blood stain, like the blood moon thing. She just sounds weird, I know that's the point. I mean, that's sick, but I prefer the first one. Just a little bit, if I have to pick. The music's creepier as well. Okay, anyone, anyone, anyway, hello, Sawson, like a saw. Hmm, did you come to see the sky do travel? Well, yes, I did. Bit of a mess. A mess? Big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and it hit the sky do tower. No. It knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. Oh, dearie me. It means the hole is the top. The door got stuck. Let's see. Okay. I know what I have to do. Shit, I'm just gonna remember how. Oh, not by like that. I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> there was lots of falling rocks. But now that I need one, I don't see one. Okay, I see one there. Let's see, is there anyone? Not closer. No. I'll go for that one. Or that one. Are you closer? No, this one's close on. Well, hello there, my friend. Jeez Louise, where did you come from? I'll go for this one then. Where did you come from? Where There's another one, there's so many. I suppose that's the, po the point. These are what broke the door, but still. Jeez Louise. Is that too early? Am I okay? I am okay. I love this one. Ready? Wee! Oh god. Oh, that made me so anxious. But we did it! This sky tower's. My. I prefer the visual. The visual of the old sky towers. The. They're not called sky towers. What are they called? The Sheikah towers, obviously. The visual, beautiful. But the fact that you have to do a little quest oh. for most of them most of these or even some of them it's just so fun ah. i don't know it just it... i mean in the other one like half of the thing was getting up them climbing them which some of them was fun some of them were like just really i don't know the word <laughs> tedious that's the word a little bit tedious Oh. oh, look, there's Goron City. That's where we're going. That's where we're headed. To making my way to Goron City. <laughs> oh, so pretty. They did nail the music in this song. Goron City is probably the strangest quest in the game. The strangest main quest, and I think you'll all agree with me when you see what we're about to deal with. But anyway, we're free falling, so it's all good. There is also somewhere. Have I missed it? Have I gone like way past it? I could do the shrine, but I'm not going to. There we go. I went a little bit past it. Good thing I remembered. Good thing that you can walk to the sky towers. The dragon's tear i forgot oops but i still remembered and we did it in time so i'm gonna be right back when i get to it because otherwise it's just me doing this Woohoo! which is actually kind of fun never mind i'm right here i'm not gonna cut i wonder which one holds the memory and it is a Sheikah Slate. Have I mentioned this before? <laughs> Again, a little thing with the game. The game does technically tell you what order to do them in, but not in such a way. So did I take a photo of it in this game? I don't know. I took a lot of photos of things. No. But when you're in the for- wait, actually. Okay, I didn't, but when you're in this place, on the walls, 
the same symbols. So this shows you like where the dragon's tears are on the map, what the symbol is. And then on the wall, it has all of the symbols in an order. That's the order that the dragon's tears are going. Quick fun facts with Zoe that you probably already knew. Look at the hips, it's so cool, this outfit. I'm never gonna change. Probably gonna have to have happen to change when I go to Goron City, but that's fine. I forgot which cutscene this is. Everything about the dolls is so pretty. It is nice. quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. Oh, I love the constructs. <laughs> so you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru. Do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Pretty sick. <laughs> Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. I would. But though. your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Oh. Time power. Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. She's like, God damn, that I just did it with heart. With if you light. don't already know how to get yourself home, <sighs> you're fucked. There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> dragon? Dragon, you say? Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <laughs> Back where we started. So what was the point in telling me then? There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. Oh, that's her favorite thing to do. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. So cute. Oh, okay. Sure. Everything will be fine. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I ain't saying a word. They're so blue. <laughs> dabba dee dabba die. I can't. There will be someone who can perfectly re recreate that, that sound. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Hey. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, cutie. Anyway. Back to on our way to Elden. I'm pretty sure that Nintendo released, but like exclusively in Japan, 
recently some stuff, some like merch. I'm so angry because I really want this. Oh, sorry. I really want the secret stones. And then I can like have a cosplay or just wear them or just like incorporate outfits around. It just seems so fun. And I can just like display them. I want to make them, but I do not have that type of talent. The only way would be like to make them out of resin. Never once used resin. Wouldn't know where to start. Plus, it's not super great for the environment. So, like, it did be, it'd look coolest out of glass. Yeah, that'd be cool. But that's a whole entire skill that I do not possess. So, Nintendo, please release it here for a reasonable price. Okay. It is weird because like, I feel like Goron and Elden is like the place that changed the most because there was like a volcanic eruption and then it hardened to make um, new paths. Anyway, here's a cool place. Bedrock Bistro. Let's go get some munch. Hmm. Something don't seem right about this Goron. I mean, he's eating his rock roast. But why is it pink? Why are his eyes pink? Why does he look so sad? He's eating delicious food. And this guy, the chef. Hmm. I will take this then. Ah. Oh, okay. Sauce. You doing good? Look, I'm sorry I wasted it, but asking me to bring you another marbled rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this mm. instead? This mysterious thing. These mysterious things were only discovered at the, after the upheaval. It looks a little strange, I know, but it's hard curio to come back. Uh? Marble rock roast is in short supply, everyone in high demand. Hmm. Okay, letting all hearts come out is a good to waste. Unforgivable. Okay. Oh, uh. Be angry. Uh. That'll be fine. Uh. Okay, we'll do that later. Meat for meat. I think this guy's the only guy that's like, okay. He's sleepy. <laughs> He's just a little sleepy guy. Right, where am I going? I want the shrine. The music. Another place I would chill, but I'd probably hate it because it'd be a bit too hot. Just a tad. Against the flow. Next water. Can I? Can I? Should I? Did it? Did it? Pro. Link, don't give it no shits. Oh! <laughs> How well. Nay. Thank you. Break. I'm getting clever. Big brain knew it was gonna break. Thank you. Okay. How about this instead? How about this? Why doesn't that work? Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me, so sorry. Um, I'll take this though. Oh! Okay. And grab that please before it rolls away. No! No! I don't care about the chest. If I'm getting them, I'll get them later. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, I'm not very smart. But I survived somehow. Sheer luck. Thank you. Oh, there's more. There is more. Fun. <gasps> we get to make something. <gasps> Thank you. No. Thank you. Oh hell yeah! Let's make a boat. Bang! Don't say it, Zoe. Don't say it. The dirt's gone. Hat there. Anyone else's childhood was that there? Because it's clearly influenced me greatly. Oh, okay, bye. That'll do. That's fine. We don't need you. We're good. Let's maybe turn it off first. And then 
make a lovely boat contraption. Now, and flashbacks to my first ever boat contraption that did not go very well. Let's hope that I have actually improved. Um, let's see, will it float? Yes. Will it swim? Well, it's, that's not the right word, but will it not get me dropped into lava? Yes! See, look at that. Improvement. Simplicity. Cleverness. Even though it's quite simple, but... Did not like the way that happened. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Oh, look how cool that is. The little lights. Like, I would eat there. Like, meats and spiced and, like, and veggies and stuff. Roasted. Like, basically a barbecue. That'd be fun. Why doesn't I no, don't go that fast. Excuse me. I was trying to turn around. Why doesn't someone just recreate itself in the real world? Wasted opportunity. Because I would visit. They've done a Mario land. Where's my Zelda one? I just need to go sit. Chill. Okay, I'd take some time out. In nature. Because I'd have to use real nature, otherwise I'd be a bit upset. If I just was sat in a bunch of plastic plants, I'd be like, great. <laughs> okay, oh no. Not a great Goron look. Looking stressed. That was not a sentence. The Goron was eating. The oh, oh, we are making. Are you okay there? Here, lizards. No, thank you. Oh, fight. Don't say that ever again, please. That's terrifying. Loving the shorts, though. Loving the look. It's giving something. Um, no, are you a? I'll be fine. It's some weird, like, so like in the caves is hotter than outside, which makes sense because inside the caves is lava, which is known to be pretty hot. Okay, we're nearly there. I'm not going to bother stopping at any of the places because, frankly, I'm lazy. And I've done it all before. My apologies if you wanted to see it. I mean, I'll probably end up coming back to all of it. But yeah, so we ha in the snowy place, there was an issue with the snow in the... <laughs> Like that. In the Rito, they were having like a big bad blizzard because of the guy. I don't know what may be the matter for this guy. Terrifying, terrifying getaway. Getaway. Do not smile. At no, no, no. <laughs> can't just back up and pretend you can't see them, Link. Oh no, this is so creepy. Gonna turn around. <laughs> Hi! Completely normal of their sound mind Gorons. We gotta let you in on something. There are some untrustworthy fellas rolling around the sea right now. So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you scammed out of it. We're good, Gorons. We'll take it off your hands for a great price. You can tell by our glowing pink eyes. How about three rupees for all your ore? No thanks. Huh? My savior, my queen. Hey, what are you doing? Mm. I like that. Like, it was just one Garuda. I mean, to be fair, the, I wouldn't fuck with the Garuda either. To be fair, let's get out of here. Where did your rock roast go? So yeah, almost got scammed. Mm. That was when this first happened in when I was playing it. My heart was, I was like, am I going to have to fight them? I was like, what are they doing? What is happening? I really thought, I was like, what the fuck's happening? I felt like I was getting scammed in real life. I almost got duped there. No, no, because I said no. Now that Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped, the lava's cooled, I've been seeing more Hylian travellers. Oh. Which is great, except those who have been swindling travellers by offering to take their ore for next to nothing. After the marble the rock roast start surfacing, everyone around here has been acting strange. Mm. Hmm. So be mindful. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. My name is Ramella. I'm a jeweler from the Garuda town at the southwest of Hyrule. 
the all that you know Boko, wow, he's moving up on in the world, deals in is high quality, so I always come here to replenish my stock. If you're open to it, I'll gladly buy your all off you from my shop. Don't swindle me! Huh? <laughs> wow, rude, I'd never rip you off. Well, I guess you did almost get ripped off, so your response is warranted. Uh. I'm not going to force you. If you decide you'd like to sell it, then let me know. Right now, I'm low on amber. If you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces... It's the same from Breath of the Wild. I'm pre I don't know if it's the same lady. But there was a Gerudo go around Goron City who would, like, buy your ore, but only in bundles of 10. So I'll buy them for a little more that you can uh. sell them at the shops. Okay. Um, do I have amber? Where is it? I'm, I'm lost. By type. Okay. Amber. I have just enough. You know what? Let's just do it now. Ah. Uh. Yes. It's not even that good. I mean, it's still better. Uh. Very helpful. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. We did it. There's like very a lot, a lot of like. I'm not just gonna, I'm just gonna oh, come out and say a lot of like oh, drug references. Oh, amber dealer. I'm a dealing oh, in amber. Oh, well, I suppose oh, actually that's not a drug reference. That's just like you can be like an R dealer, a car dealer. But the references will come potentially. Okay, let's see what's going down in Goron City. Hmm. They said to be careful of the rock roast, and I cannot avoid it. Genuinely terrifying. Ugh, what's going on? Mm. Oh, Crane, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marbled rock roast. Aww. So everyone's acting funny because of the marbled rock roast that President, President, you know, Bo is mining. He's a hey. president. Oh, here we go, guys. What are you mumbling about over there? I was baffled when this happened. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh my god, why does he look like that? <laughs> it's so funny. There's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Yeah, it looks fine. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Huh? What could you want? Just... <laughs> he looks like a pimp! Like, like, he just... Or like a drug lord, like, gone wrong. Like, from the 90s, with his, like, weird fucking wrestler mask. His, like, big gold blinged up rings. Or, like, he's even got a leopard print on, for Christ's sakes. He's got fur. He's got fur. You live in Goron City. It's hot enough. You don't need fur. And he's talking like a weird anime protagonist. Like, so, the rock, right? Like, no. Because, like, the snow stuff was, like, relatively serious. And, I mean, usually the Gorons are a little bit more lighthearted. Besides in Majora's Mask, when it's absolutely devastating. But, about every, every quest in Majora's Mask is devastating, that's the point of the game. Like, I get it, it's, like, a bit of comic relief. But it's weird. It's, like, don't, like, it's gotta be... It's funny. I, like, I don't know, made me laugh. In disbelief. But, you got... You get where I'm coming from. It, there's just something. It's just, it feels so unserious. But anyway. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny, I barely even noticed you. Hey. Yeah, you go. You you didn't like us last time, to be fair. You know, but what's the big idea? Talking like that to our esteemed huh. guest. Bluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? He's got so much sass. <laughs> he didn't look okay then. Slurgo, tell me, who runs Goron City these days? Oh. Yenoboko? Hey. And Ofrak, who's in charge of Yenoboko? Oh. You are president, you know. This is so sad. 
He has like little man syndrome, but he's not a little man. You know what I mean? You hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. You think I'm just gonna sit here and get so angry he's gonna break his back? Like he's gonna throw his back out again? So Link, what's your business in Goron City? Um. Huh? Oh, is that the old Unobo I see? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange goings on? Mm. Princess Zelda, I heard she'd gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? Well, yes. I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers after all, even though my hair looks low-key brown. But it, it, I do promise you it is blonde. It used to be. Anyway. Locks? Does that- yes, that means hair. Oh, oh, the lady with hair like that. She's the same one President Inogo talks to about the marble rock rock. Zelda is a Gotta get your money some. <laughs> oh, anyway, pipe down you two. You'll keep your trap shut if you know what's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace. And we can't help with Princess Zelda. Yes, you certainly look calm. <laughs> so you'd better shove off. I've got to go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Who? Princess Zelda? You know what? You go for it. You know, but I swear if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll throw my back out again. My aching back. Stodgy old guy. <laughs> sticking. It's so rude. Sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slur go off rack. Time to head back to you know, but HQ. Do you need me to get you more painkillers like last time? I mean, technically, you know, but got them that. Aww. Poor guy. Anyway, that mess. Look at him. Look at that. He was once a kind and compassionate young Goron. Now he's a fucking weird WWE wrestler. Anyway, that's what we're dealing with currently. This is our current task. And I will see you all on the next one where we will investigate like good detectives. Thank you all for watching and see you all on the next one. Bye. -bye.